We'll be doing a little intersections of sets. How do you do that? The best way to think of it uh, is what they have in common. So Venn diagrams, very popular. Two overlapping circles, A, B. So there's A intersect B. What does that equal in pictures? That is the football in between. It's what they have in common. A union B is everything in A and everything in B. So this is what the union looks like, everything in A or B. Now if we do an example uh, on number line, we could intersect these two sets right here. What do they have in common? Well, certainly between negative one and positive one, they have everything in common. What about the endpoints? Now the endpoints, negative one is in both sets. So negative one makes it in, what about positive one? Positive one is in this set, not in this set. So positive one does not make it in. And everything over here, greater than one, is not in this set. So this is all out. And everything less than negative one is also out. So writing this in set builder notation, this first set up here goes negative one to infinity. Close at negative one intersect negative infinity comma positive one and we're open. Now when we intersect them, really the best way and almost the only way to do it is to use number line. If you do it in your head, you're basically going to be drawing a number line in your head and figuring out what's in common to both. So again, what's in common? just what's in this area right here, and you just have to be careful about the two endpoints, and we said it was include negative one, do not include positive one. So our final answer will be negative one to positive one, close negative one, open positive one. So that's intersections. Unions, if I union these two together, you can see that no matter what number we have on the number line, we're gonna be in at least one of these two. So if I write a union of these, we get everything, negative infinity, to positive infinity. So there's an intersection and a union.